Hi, welcome to another video on the ZSK T8 controller. And in this video, we are going to talk about reference points. Um, and these points are panograph uh, points on the machine that we can set, delete, or change. So one of the reasons that I would use this function is um, to always set a center point in my hoop Let's say I have a hoop and I'm using the maximum area and I want that absolute center. I can save that as a reference point for my machine to go to. Another reason I might use it is when I'm doing um, multi-hooping, giving uh, the machine reference points to go to to make sure I line up my embroidery properly. So let's see how this works. First of all, on the machine I have, uh, I am on needle one right here. We can see that just right here on our T8 controller. If you do need to move your needles, um, you can use this button right here, R4. Choose the needle that you want and then confirm that and it'll change that needle. I have chosen needle one um, just because it's a little bit easier for me to line up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my frame to a reference point that I would like to set. Um, what I'm going to do is move that needle down so I can see what, what needle I am on. I've moved it down a little bit, and I am going to move the panograph to the point that I want to set. I can do this while I'm in a design, while I'm out of a design, it doesn't matter. So for example, if you're in a design in the middle of stitching, and for some reason you have to stop, you can set the reference point of the panograph of where you stopped in that design, and always line it back up just perfectly. So with my needle down, I'm moving to the absolute center of this hoop and I will take my panograph movements. And remember with your panograph movements, you can move it slow or fast just by um, going to the gears right here. And in the gears, you have the rabbit for fast, the snail for slow, 10 INC for 10 increments at a time and one INC for one increment at a time. I'm gonna use the 10 increment and I'm gonna go ahead and move my panograph to the point. I'm moving to that exact spot and there I am, right at that center point. So I want this as a reference point. To save it as a reference point, I'll go out of that menu right there just with that yellow button uh, or that yellow arrow and click set. Set is, that would be U6, and I am going to go ahead and press that. And now I can define that reference point. On the left hand side, you have the ability to set the reference point. On the right hand side, you have the ability to name the reference point. So on the right hand side, I will press R3 for reference point one, and I am going to name this with my keyboard center C. E N T E R. I will put a space in there and I'm going to also name the hoop. I will name that 30 by 30. So I know what hoop I'm referring to when I'm setting the center point. I'll hit OK here and I will define the reference point. I press that and it says, OK, centered 30 by 30. Do you want to define this new reference point? Because if you define it, it overwrites the old one. I say, yes, I want to define this reference point. Now I have that reference point. If I'd like to define more, I have 35 different reference points that I can make. It's always wise to name the reference points so that you know what they are referring to. So. I will go down to previous and um, now let's do another reference point. So I'm going to move that panograph to another reference point. And I've made some dots on my fabric to, to tell me what points to make uh, reference points for. I hit the arrow, the yellow arrow up, I'll go to set. Now I'm going to go define reference point two. I'm going to define it and then I will name it. And I'm going to name this upper 
tab space, upper left. Press OK. And now I have that new reference point. So I'll go ahead and hit Previous. Now if we'd like to see it go to a reference point, what we need to do is click Go To. And then we can see what reference points we do have available. The reference points that we do have available, you can see are highlighted. And if I want to move to reference point one, press that. I'll go ahead and accept it, move to reference point one. And it moves to reference point one. Now let's see it move to reference point two. Move to reference point two, go ahead and confirm. And it moves it to reference point two. So this is very helpful when you do have to uh, assign these points for perfect placement. Like I said, you have other applications you can use this in. We can use it for applique. We can use it for, um, like I said, multi-hooping. We can use it if we have to stop in the middle of a job, so on and so forth. Now on the opposite side, let's see how we can delete reference points. We're going to go ahead and click Set. I'm going to go to Defining Reference Point 2 and we're going to go ahead and delete that reference point and previous out of there. Now if I hit go to, that reference point two you can see is now deleted. I'll go ahead and move to reference point one and then confirm. So I've deleted points, I've set points. You can see how this can help you and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.